driven by social justice. My 50 words or less is social justice. The idea that people need uh, support to be able to fulfill their, uh, their potential. There's the social justice advocacy, and then there's the just doing things right for people. Tom Hetherington and I were hired to start a new family counseling program uh, in Vancouver, so that's how I, um, how I came to the agency, so since 1988. I've been with PCRS since day one. Uh, PCRS was preceded by the Nisha Children's Society. It was a, 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 a group of staff who had worked in government programs that were being eliminated. Uh, Ruth Annis and I brought together the group from Chima House and the current Eagle High program. We formed the agency in very quick order and began uh, on March 31st, 1984. We were government employees and at 1201 we were Nisha Children and Children's Society. PCRS has grown exponentially. Um, we're sitting in a uh, boardroom where the entire agency could once sit um, and uh, have you know our full meetings. I mean, we obviously now need to rent large auditoriums. It seems to to have those meetings. In 1984, we started with three core programs. We had, I guess, maybe about 25 employees, all in East Vancouver. We are now a agency that stretches from the east side of Vancouver all the way to Chilliwack. We have more programs than I can keep track of and probably 250 staff. Our original budget was probably about a million dollars, it's currently about 22 million dollars, so um, it's been a pretty remarkable growth over those, uh, those 30 years. There seems to be a rapid expansion uh, of programs and I think it's because PCRS has been doing very good work. I think the Broadway Youth Resource Centre is the one that comes to mind right away. The Broadway Youth Centre does create a very nice, casual and welcoming atmosphere for the youth in the area. The thing about Broadway Youth Resource Centre, it's, it's actually a cooperative of all kinds of different agencies. The exciting thing is that on the original ground, they're building where besides having the drop-in centre to move back, uh, there's also housing for youth. And I think housing is one of the key things that we can provide when people are in need. The Annis residence is 22 beds of safe, secure and affordable housing. It provides uh, uh, services for both support and housing for adults who historically have had uh, difficulty securing and uh, maintaining good housing. I don't know that anybody else is doing that in BC, having housing really attached to the health and mental health services and employment services for those with multiple barriers. Our housing at Thompson Court is a very interesting experiment of providing supported housing for youth and young adults who've had a number of challenges. It provides 15 beds, support component for youth and uh, young adults who have had a difficult time both getting and maintaining solid housing. The employment programs that we put together uh, over the last couple of years, that was kind of the, one of the last things I did was to help get the employment contracts and we set up cooperative structures for all of those employment centers. It's the first time we've partnered in a significant way with disability serving organizations and immigrant serving organizations we do now have these growing professional friendships by working side by side with agencies we had never worked side by side with. Barista is another very unique uh, PCRS program. Uh, it's a partnership with Starbucks. It's been going on for probably close to 10 years now. If you've never been to a, a barista graduation where the kids talk about what they learned, what the struggles they went through, to make a cup of coffee. It's just a profoundly moving experience and a profoundly uh, moving thing for these kids because suddenly they've got a job. They've got a place in, in life, they've got a place in the world, just making coffee. Our services will never be better than the people who work for us and we want to have the very best and we do have um, really great people working for us. A lot of the programs that came that we now see really stemmed from um, you know staff who who went who saw a need and, and um, 
uh, went to management and directors to help you know, have a response to those, those needs. Anyone can come forward with a good idea and depending on the idea, we can make it happen as soon as later that day. Well, PCRS has always had a good reputation around innovation and I think their fundamental innovation principle is to try to integrate services for people. Uh, I'm coming to the end of my uh, work career at PCRS. I'll be retiring uh, shortly. I'll remember the great staff that we had. I'll remember the uh, at times very challenging uh, but always interesting um, uh, youth and adults that we worked with. Uh, I'll remember the great uh, partners we had in terms of other community organizations and uh, government funders. Uh, it wasn't always fun, but it was never dull.